Hello everybody, I hope you are doing wonderful, like always. In this video, I'm going to speak about some important, useful vocabulary that you need to know. In this video and in this lesson, we're going to speak about different ways to say walk. Yes, there are different vocabulary for walking and I'm going to teach you all of these vocabulary. So guys, stay tuned. The first word is stroll. Yes, stroll. Guys, stroll means to walk somewhere in a slow, relaxed way. That's the meaning of stroll. For example, people were strolling along the beach. People were strolling along the beach. They are walking in a slow and relaxed way. Word number two is pace. Yes, pace. Pace means to walk impatiently. Yes, to walk impatiently. So that's the meaning of the word pace. For example, I was pacing back and forth waiting for the result of my exam. Yes, I was pacing back and forth waiting for the result of my exam. So I was actually walking in an impatient way. Word number three is stride. Yes, stride. Stride means to walk with long steps in a particular direction. Yes, to walk with long steps in a particular direction. That's the meaning of stride. For example, we strode. Strode is the past of stride. We strode across the snowy fields. Yes, we strode across the snowy fields. Word number four is pad. Pad, guys, means to walk with quiet steps. Pad, yes, to walk with quiet steps. For example, she padded across the room to the window. She padded across the room to the window. So she walked and she had quiet steps. The next word is stumble. Stumble means to walk or move in an unsteady way. Yes, stumble, to walk or move in an unsteady way. For example, we were stumbling around in the dark looking for the candle. Yes, we were stumbling around in the dark looking for a candle. The next important word, guys, is wander. Guys, wander means to walk slowly around in a place or to a place. Yes, to walk slowly around or to a place. That's the meaning of wander. For example, she wandered aimlessly around the streets. Yes, she wandered aimlessly around the streets. She just walked in a slow, actually, way around the streets. The next word is hike, and I guess you know the meaning of this word. Hike means to go for a long walk in the country, especially for pleasure. So this is a long walk in the country, in the village, in the mountain, especially for pleasure. That's the meaning of hike. For example, we are planning to hike across the mountain. Yes, we are planning to hike across the mountain. We are planning to take long walk in the country or in the mountain for pleasure. The next word is amble. Yes, amble. Guys, amble also means to walk in a slow and relaxed way. So that's the meaning of the word amble. For example, we ambled along the beach. Yes, we ambled along the beach. We just walked very slowly in a relaxed way. The next important word is limp. Yes, guys, limp. Limp means to walk in a slow and awkward way because of an injury. Yes, to walk in a slow and awkward way because of an injury. That's the meaning of the word limp. For example, the injured athlete limped off the field. Yes, the injured athlete limped off the field. The next word is swagger. Swagger. Guys, swagger means to walk in a confident, proud, and sometimes arrogant way. Yes, that's the meaning of the word swagger. 
For example, he swaggered up to the beautiful woman. He swaggered up to the beautiful woman. He just walked in an arrogant, proud way. The next important word is shuffle. Shuffle. Shuffle, guys, means to walk slowly without lifting your feet completely off the ground. Yes, to walk slowly without lifting your feet completely off the ground. That's shuffle. For example, the elderly man shuffled across the room. The elderly man shuffled across the room. The next funny word is waddle. Yes, waddle. Waddle, guys, means to walk with short steps while moving from side to side like a dog. Yes, to walk with short steps. That's waddle. For example, the small man waddled toward me. The small man waddled toward me. The next word is meander. Meander. Probably you have not heard it. Meander means to walk slowly without any aim or destination. There is no goal, destination, or aim. So that's a slow walk and that's meander. For example, while on vacation, we meandered through the city. We meandered through the city. We walked without any aim. The next important phrase, guys, power walk. Yes, power walk actually means to walk very quickly as a form of exercise. That's power walk power walk. For example, we power walked every morning before work. Yes, we power walked every morning before work. Trudge. Trudge means to walk slowly and heavily because you are tired or working hard. Yes, that's trudge. Trudge. That's a nice word. For example, she trudged through three feet of snow. She trudged through three feet of snow. And the last word is tiptoe. Yes, tiptoe. Tiptoe means to walk quietly with only your feet, sorry, your toe touching the ground. To walk quietly with only your toes touching the ground. That's tiptoe. For example, she tiptoed across the room to sneak up on him. Yes, she tiptoed across the room to sneak up on him. Okay, my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Actually, we learned many great, useful vocabularies and other ways to say walk. So, don't forget to subscribe and wait for the new great lesson. Have a great time. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed learning English with us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you wouldn't miss the new lessons. You can watch our new lessons on Sundays and Thursdays. Find our new English online courses at EnglishFitCourses.com. See you in the next lesson.